at Christmas Wishies, a makeover event for people um, with alopecia and I'm sitting with Amy who's head of the London support group for Alopecia UK. So Amy, what do you do with Alopecia UK? So as the group lead for the support group in London, I arrange support groups every couple of months we meet up in a pub. We chat about what it's like to have alopecia, we meet people who are in different stages, different types and we offer support to each other. Um, we also do some fun events throughout the year, so we do pub quizzes and yoga events, um, walks, those sorts of things. Um, and we also try and, we've just started a children's group as well for, for London, so we do two groups a year for children as well as a fun trip out. So this year I'm looking at organising a trip to London Zoo. So it's all about support really and raising awareness um, and helping people around the London area with alopecia. So today on the makeover, working with all different types of wigs, what, what has been the main thing that you've found? I think the main thing for me is just knowing that there's so many options out there for people now. A lot of times when people come to support group it's not about necessarily finding answers or cures but it's how to manage with alopecia because that tends to be the big thing for a lot of people. So coming to something like today and trying on lots of wigs and receiving makeup tips and all sorts of things like that can be so beneficial for people with alopecia and that is something that I think will always be really useful. So. And we've spoken today about trichology and mm -hmm. how that may or may not be able to help. In your support group and for you, what has that meant to you today? It's meant a huge deal because as part of the group lead, you know, I get asked a lot of questions and I'm not an expert in treatment. It's not something that I have chosen to go down the route of. Um, however, being able to manage with alopecia with wigs, eyebrows, eyelashes, those sorts of things, People don't tell you about that when you go to the dermatology appointment. You don't learn about those things. You have to go out and find them out yourself. And sitting here today with a trichologist has really helped me understand there is a place for people to go where they can get some formal advice around those things and how they can manage that alopecia in a positive way. That's great. And in terms of um, trying to get more services in salons where people can go in when they get a new wig, they can get advice on colour, length, style, and some hairdressing tips and some styling, how important would that be? It would be massively important. I mean, when you first start losing your hair, it is a scary time. You don't know where it's going to go, and the people that you go to for answers will tell you they don't know where it's going to go, and that is the most scariest thing that you can be told. So to go to someone who can really sit down and give you some practical pieces of advice would just mean the world. So I think it, it's really important. And I think today working with the hairdressers here who work with hair loss a lot, I think the message is it's not scary. Um, when you get somebody that comes into salon and you're not sure, use a trichologist like me to work out what's happening to get the diagnosis. And I equally need to use you as a really talented hairdresser to be able to get the best hairdressing solution on that head. So it's about working together in partnership. And I think that message would be really powerful for Alopecia UK. Definitely. Would you agree? Absolutely. Yeah, so again, thank you to everybody who's made today possible. The list is huge. There's Bambi Postige, there's Next for Clothes, there's some amazing headmasters for their facilities. Richard Miles, who is the photographer, who is just magic. The ladies themselves, Dan, who's been behind the camera, everybody that's made today happen. I couldn't have done it without you. And if it just helps one person with hair loss, any kind of alopecia at all, then we've made a good day today. And hopefully your next Christmas wish, we can make it come true.